Hi, how are you guys? I'm at Bangalore Airport. I'm going to London today. Can you see I'm very, very tired. I had so much of documentation work, office work for the past couple of days. So I'm really, really tired. And also, I don't know what I ate yesterday. I ate outside yesterday. A little bit of tummy upset, <laughs> you know, kind of deli belly. So I'm really, really tired. My mom, dad and my sister, everyone came to the airport to send me off. Uh, very, very tired. I have to go to Mumbai first and then from there I'm going to Heathrow Airport. Last night when I was packing everything, my mom made palkova. She usually makes it a couple of hours before I leave so that it'll stay fresh for at least another three, four days for my kids. And she also made garlic pickle, fresh garlic pickle for my kids. That's my elder daughter's favorite. She always does this lots of sweets and savouries for her grandkids before the security check there's a pharmacy here so i went and told him that i've got a little bit of tummy ache and vomiting sensation he has given me some medication i'm taking it with me but i don't want to risk it i'm not going to eat anything at all i think i don't know i'm really really tired and you know it's kind of drained feeling you know dry and my eyes are literally burning, aching, my tummy ache and headache. I feel like I'm going to get cold as well. I don't know. I don't know. Is the weather change in Bangalore? I don't know. Some bug going on. I don't know what it is or something I ate last night. Not last night. Yesterday afternoon for lunch. I don't know how I'm going to survive this long flight. But I think I'll be okay. I hope I'll be okay. given the breakfast. Uh, it is South Indian breakfast with upma, idli, but the sambar looks like dal, it is too thick and a croissant as well. I don't know what I am going to eat and I, I don't have the appetite at all. I don't want to risk anything but I think I will eat yogurt. I feel very sick, um, I am very tired but I am trying to motivate myself because I am travelling alone, I am on my own and there is a lot of walking to be done in the Bombay airport because it's a very big airport uh, and I have to be on my own so maybe I'll sleep for a little while take rest and then uh, once I get off in Mumbai I'll be okay I hope so I really really hope so I've reached Mumbai now it is a really long airport you have to walk a lot here One good news is I don't have to collect my luggage here. I can collect it in London. <laughs> At least I don't have to pick it up right now. These pillars are so beautiful on there. I really like it. I like the architecture. You know, a few years ago, every time I come from London to India, I used to come via Mumbai Airport because I was always taking jet airways. Their service was so good, but then the airlines was closed after that. Some financial problems with them, I don't know what it is. But I think they are coming up. Their service was really, really nice. I loved them. This is a nice airport. This is the check-in area, but I've already checked in in Mumbai, so I don't have to do anything here. It's a lot different than other airports. I just finished my immigration and the security check everything. I'm inside this area, shopping area, duty free area. You know, I'm really looking for uh, sour candy. You know, uh, we call it pulipumitai. I'm looking for it. But there are a lot of chocolates, but no sour candy. You know what I mean, the sour candy one, which you take when you're not feeling that great, you know when your mouth has that uh, bitter taste uh, this area is really colorful and nice shopping area with lots of shops but i don't have the energy to do any shopping today i'm not doing it i'm just going to sit somewhere this is a nice place it's really big shopping area duty free area is really good really good so just roaming around trying to find the candy this is a beautiful airport. I like it. 
there's a food court here i have not eaten anything in the flight also just that a small pot of yogurt i had i need to eat something <sighs> flight number i have to keep checking it street foods punjabi grill i don't want any grill i just want some lassi there was no lassi here they said only meals are available this time not lassi so i have asked him to make some fresh juice for me orange juice with lots of sugar i need the energy at least i get to drink some fresh juice it's a very very nice fresh orange juice really really fresh see the location here it is so nice isn't it <laughs> it's very very nice here i'll show you properly I'm sitting here. It's raining. And the flights are coming and going. It's so lovely to watch it. It is so beautiful and relaxing. The pharmacist was right in Bangalore airport. You know, um, I don't have the dizziness now. You know, slight dizziness I had. I don't have it now. Mm, almost, not hundred percent okay, nearly there. But I don't want to risk it. There are so many chat items here, so many, so many, so many things, lovely things which I love. Samosa chat, bel puri, and then my favorite, most favorite, vada pav. Um, so many things, yeah. But I'm not able to eat. That's fate, isn't it? I'm just drinking juice because I don't want to risk it. Even idli and uh, vada is there. My favorite idli, vada, sambar, and dosa. These are my favorite foods in the world. But um, I'm not risking anything. I'm not eating. I've got a pack of biscuit. I just bought it here. Mm. I'll just manage with baked goods, biscuits, or some croissant. I'm going to buy some croissant if it is somewhere there. So that's how I'm going to manage today. I'm not going to eat uh, the full meal what they're going to give. I'll be eating only parts. I tried so much for lassi. You know, plain lassi or even just plain yogurt. I couldn't get it. Everywhere they have only this lunch menu now. Because it's not even lunch time. It's only 9.45, almost 10 o'clock. But they have only lunch menu right now. I don't know why. Because I want lassi, that's why they don't have it. That happens, right? No. But at least this is nice. I may get another glass of juice. It's really nice, really nice, refreshing. It makes me feel good. I don't want to risk my health right now, my tummy right now, because it's a really long journey. It's another 10 hours of journey. Um, I don't want to risk it. That's why I'm not eating all my favorite foods in Mumbai. <laughs> it's a nice place though. Such a lovely place to sit down and eat, isn't it? Nice view. <laughs> it is so nice to watch the planes take off in this weather. Can you see the spring, <laughs> rainwater? It's so beautiful. The decor is really beautiful. This is all the olden type traditional decorations here. Um, see, that is Queen Jansi, right? Yeah, Queen. Um, lovely statue and um, Ambedkar is there Ambedkar statue is there and uh, the, all the decoration is kind of traditional here yeah, you see uh, look at the door designs the decorations all the traditional designs Chettina designs um, the door and the wood around the door you know the house facade is like a Chettina style design or maybe Rajasthani things are also there, Rajasthani style, architectural things. It's nice. It is not the real material. They've not done with the real wood, teak wood or anything. But uh, it is the fake one. But it's a look-alike. It looks nice, right? It's really nice. Really, really nice. I like it. Oh, wow. There is Annapurna restaurant. This is a famous South Indian restaurant. And that is such a big restaurant. It is still empty at the gate. Uh, this is the seating area. 
I went and had another orange juice but still it's empty here. Let's wait. They've decorated with real plants and dwarf trees here. It's really really nice. Yay! We are going to board the plane now. I thought I was going to get on the plane but they told us to wait. There is another seating area downstairs here. Our plane is leaving 45 minutes early. They already made the announcement. Uh, we were supposed to land in London Heathrow around 7 p.m. today. But uh, we'll be going early at 6.15 according to this new schedule. My hubby and kids will be there waiting for me. I'm so, so excited. This is a lot more cleaner and newer than the one I came to India. See, the seats are really good. The one I came to India from London to Bangalore, the seats were really bad. See, they were all ripped and really old. But this is decent. This is nice, isn't it? And the leg room is always good in Air India. They give a lot of leg room. It's really good. And the seat, everything is good. Touch screen, oh my god, it's lightning speed. Usually in all the most of the aircraft, the touch screen won't work properly. But this one is really good. Really, really good. Look at the airport crew. They are not even wearing rain jackets. They are working in the rain all the time. It's been raining for hours now. Feeling that. I don't watch TV, I don't watch movies that much but today since I'm very tired I think I'm going to watch few movies. I'm searching what to watch. I'm watching this movie. It's a Me Before You. It's a fantastic romantic movie. I just love it. Lunch has come now. Look! Dahi! <laughs> Yogurt has come. Finally, I searched all over Mumbai for it. Mumbai airport. Lunch is rice, cauliflower, that's gobi with some paneer. Usually, I would have enjoyed it, but I don't think I'm going to eat. And some bun, salad and a dessert as well, some chocolate dessert. I don't think I'm going to eat any of it. Just yogurt. I'm feeling so cold, you know. When you don't eat enough food, your body will be very cold. You don't get the body heat. I'm really feeling very cold. I'm only watching TV today. I'm not reading anything. Already it is snack time. <laughs> they have given snack already. It is roast potato. Uh, that's a bit crispy. But they said it says it is samosa, this one. This roll kind of. But it is soggy. It is not crispy. I don't know. It is samosa, it says. I am watching kids programs now. <laughs> I am running out of all the other programs. Now it's kids time. Finally, we are going to land in London in a short while. It felt like a very, very, very long journey. I'm so tired. I didn't eat anything except yogurt and a few glasses of juice. But watching these clouds makes me feel energetic. I love watching the snow white moving clouds. Isn't it so poetic and romantic? It is, right? It makes you want to touch the clouds. Do you feel like that? Uh, it is so, so, so pretty. I'm going to see my hobby and my kids. I'm so excited to see them after a month. come out in one piece in spite of all my sickness. When you get off from the flight, it, it's a long way to walk in Heathrow Airport. Still going. Oh, 
oh thank god i survived this long journey with my tiredness and a health issue today that was the biggest problem today for me i have to get my luggage and go outside bharti and my kids are waiting for me outside i'll catch you guys in my next video take care bye bye